Lord, now let us bow thy servant, depart in peace. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. Uh, <clears throat> back in jolly old stone, we are here in England. And, this is evening prayer, and um, nothing daunted, the title for the film is <coughs> A Fate Worse, Worse Than Death to Marry a Woman Who Doesn't Love You. I don't know if you can hear this thing, it's a Benedictus by far. I know it doesn't matter. Right, then. Right, well, with that being said, <laughs> naughty as ever, so thank heavens I'm not in Brazil, quite frankly, because to be taken for a ride by some little Brazilian girl would be a fate worse than death. So she's had a little play with me, so I'm having to stay. to be back from England. Well, I was always going to come back at some point. A great deal sooner than I expected. But not really, actually. I mean, quite frankly, given the way things have gone, I, I could see this coming. It's just I called her bluff. Anyway, so... I can now return to myself and God, not to be pissed all over by some woman, quite frankly. Of course one cherishes notions of a woman of noble character and the like, but you know, finding Sorry to blether on about it, but you know, it is that time of year, happy families and all that stuff. The reason I am such a strong Christian is because I have a broken marriage with a son who is now 17 years and one month old, born on Thursday, the 12th of September. Uh, November 1992 at a weight of eight and three quarter pounds. My mother was an eternity sister. God very kindly arranged for me to meet my former wife through our horses seven and eight miles unwound on either side and with a child in the marriage. So I either turned against God or to him. And I turned to God. So he gave the Lord gave, and he took it all away. Well, from my perspective now, as a very strong Christian, then thanks be to the Lord. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As with Job, that's from Job. <laughs> I've got the old picture out of my mother's Bible. It follows me everywhere. <laughs> but now, as time passes, more and more, you, my Lord, live within me. I'm not in this world, really, at all, quite frankly. I'm of you, and it's wonderful. 